Hi there, my name is Will Clausen. I'm the horticultural fellow here at Garden in the Woods. We got a lot of rain here last night and it's a little bit foggy this morning, so it's perfect weather to explore one of my favorite bog plants, Rhododendron groenlandicum, commonly called Labrador tea. Labrador tea is a, is a low-growing evergreen shrub um, that is growing in uh, bogging conditions usually in and amongst other plants that tend to look a little bit like it. However, uh, if you know a few defining characteristics, it's easy to ID. One of those characteristics is on the underside of the leaf here, we see on new growth, this very white hair, um, which you won't find on anything else. And on old growth, like down here, you'll see it turns to this rusty uh, red color. Uh, the purpose of this hair is to help in water retention. And uh, as I said, you won't find that on any other of these look-alike plants in the bog. Um, until recently, rhododendron uh, groenlandicum wasn't classified with other rhododendrons, and one of the reasons why is the flowers are quite different than other rhododendrons. Instead of having fused petals, it has five distinctly separate uh, petals um, with long, arching stamen. Um, and so it, it used to be er, categorized uh, Ledum groenlandicum, but now is rhododendron groenlandicum. Um, it got its common name because it's used to make tea frequently, um, Native Americans and early colonists, and to this day many people uh, still do. If you want to make the tea yourself, find a plant in the wild or in your own garden, grab a small handful of the leaves, um, and then you can either chop them up and steep them, or put them whole leaf into a boiling uh, pot of water. Uh, the resulting tea has a little bit of a piney taste, um, and uh, definitely, for me, distinctly boggy. Um, one word of advice is to not drink too much at a time or too frequently because these plants contain lidl, which can cause um, sickness if taken in excess. I have a close personal history with this plant, Labrador tea. Uh, it's my time spent in southeast Alaska taking plant samples of it while trying to ignore marauding bears, hordes of mosquitoes, and ever-numbing fingers. Now, it gave me a hard time. It was tough love. But I think everybody should have some sort of plant that they have that type of relationship with. Um, I think it helps you to appreciate the plant more. And um, I think that you know everybody should just have that plant that gives them a hard time. So that's uh, Labrador tea. Thank you.